I've gone and done a silly thing. So you may have seen the, the Monty Bristle Blaster video I did a few weeks ago. Um, it's a tool I borrowed off a, a friend um, to strip the floor pan on the Beetle. Now it's become a bit of a tool I've been using in the garage. It's become a bit of a, a close buddy and friend that um, at every opportunity I've picked up and stripped some manky old paint off something or other and, uh, to, to prep it and make it look good again. Um, so I've really enjoyed having it as a tool in the garage. Um, but unfortunately it was the, the right time to send it back to its right for owner because he had to, to finish his car. So uh, it left me a bit of a, a hole to replace. Um, so I went on uh, eBay for a hunt and I found this. This is a Monty Die Blaster. Um, it's obviously the pneumatic version so it runs on air. Um, and it came in, so it is actually, it looks new but it's a second hand one and it came in at less than a quarter of the, uh, the Bristol Blaster kit. And that was delivered as well. So for, for me it was an expensive purchase for the garage, it's not something I'd normally do. Um, but say it's been such a handy tool I think it's something I'll, I'll get a lot of use out of. So uh, hopefully it's worth the money. Uh, also I've got to finish the floor pan on Beefcake. Um, there's the tricky to get areas around the outside edge where the, uh, the, the pan and the body bolt together. And I'm hoping that the Bristle Blaster with its um, design where it's at 90 degrees to the the handle will help me get in there and also it's got a more open area um, to, to get into recesses so fingers crossed we'll, uh, we'll get a, a good job on the, the car um, on, the, on the pan I can finish that job as well um, I don't really want to repeat over the last video because say uh, I'm imagining it'll be very similar to the, the, the Bristol Blaster and its performance and what it does um, I'm going to do a very quick test on the same piece of metal we used last time uh, just to see if there is any comparison my biggest concern is that um, I've only got a tiny little 50 litre um, air tank and compressor um, and I can't remember what the, the flow rate is, it's something like 3 cubic littles a minute. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure I have enough uh, air feed to actually run it as it should be run. I just don't know, I guess we'll soon find out and that might be something I have to address uh, in the future. Now the Die Blaster comes with uh, green belts. So I'm not sure what the difference between the Die Blaster with the green belts and the Bristle Blaster with the red belts are. Um, the Bristle Blaster you can use the wider ones, whereas this only uses the thin ones. But they look identical, feel identical, so I'm not sure what the difference is, but I will give it a try at some point. Um, see how that compares. But for today we're going to use the belt that actually came with the kit, so uh, the green ones. We can hear the compressor running straight away, um, but comparing the die to the bristle, it looks pretty identical to most of you. In fact, it actually feels even rougher, like it's uh, it's dug into the metal even more. So that could be the difference in the belts, I don't know, maybe it's the fact it's just a brand new belt. Uh, but so far, so good. Going to give it a quick test on here, I think it's just got a gloss and undercoat on it. Uh, so nothing super sticky, but let's see how it fares. That's interesting. So uh, it doesn't want to blast this steel, whatever this steel is, whereas the box section, it does. So it's the areas down here that I've been struggling with, um, just in the channels here, so you, you can't, you couldn't get the blaster at all, the, the bristle blaster. But I'm hoping the die blaster is going to be much easier. Let's give it a quick try. So, as you can see, the die blaster does get into these areas better, but it's still not getting into the top corners. Now, there's a secret weapon which comes with the die blaster, 
it's these really weird uh, shaped belts so you have long long hairs on the top which do the blasting and you've got shorter ones there I assume that means you can get right into the corner with it so we'll soon find out Look at your smiley face look! <laughs> so uh, I know this has only been a short video but it's kind of an update really on the, the first one. Um, overall I'm pretty impressed with the Die Blaster. Um, it allows me to get into all the nooks and crannies which I was struggling to with the, uh, the Bristle Blaster. Um, especially with the, the offset uh, wheels which I thought were going to be a bit of a gimmick when I first saw them but they really do well um, for getting into corners. So uh, I'm quite impressed by that as well. Um, I think in terms of its stripping ability, obviously it's using the slightly smaller wheels, so on flat surfaces it's not going to be clearing quite as fast as it would do if you got the, the bigger um, bristle blaster. Um, but say for, on the whole, I don't strip full floor pans, I just do odds and sods, and that's all I need it for. Um, so it's kind of perfect for that. Pick it up, have a quick blast, put it down again. Um, so yeah, uh, I've not really got any negatives. Um, the other positive, I guess, is... I guess the other positive is, as soon as you get one, you get lots of new friends. 